Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study in my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring love the way What's up everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. As you can see, there was a big torch drift update giving us three new pro cars that are driven by some amazing female drivers. That of Kelsey Rollins S14, Jody Donovan's Supra BRZ front car, torque drift. Big, uh, big thank you to the guys at torque drift, as you can see, shoot me a direct message. I, and that of uh, Miki Tagai. I think I said that wrong. I do apologize if I mispronounced that. But three amazing pro cars by three amazing female drivers are now in the game. And like I said, big thank you to Turk Drift for making this episode possible, for hooking me up with two of the three new cars that, so that we can throw them around, see how they handle, and have a little fun with them today. We're going to take a look at those cars today. And uh, some other things came into the game, such as, you know, better engines for smoke and stuff like that to make it, you know, run smoother. And if you can see right back there, that, uh, that car right there, is uh, that of one of the cars that Torque Drift hooked me up with. Big thank you to them. Big thank you to the devs of Torque Drift for hooking me up. That right there. That purple and pink S13. So can't wait to get my hands on this car and drive it. It is in my garage, but we are not going to drive that car yet. The other car that we get to shred here today is that of Jody's car. And that is the uh, BRZ Front. Toyota Supra rear, the Toyota Supra with the BRZ front, and uh, definitely excited to get this car sideways as well because, well, 852 horsepower, um, that's going to be a lot of fun, as well as some 458 horsepower fun because you guys know I do like my lower powered cars as well. So uh, this is definitely going to be interesting, a lot of camera in that car. And the other new car that came to the game is that of Kelsey Rollins S14. Her uh, Galaxy wrapped Top 1 Oil Killers Radial S14. Um, definitely a amazing female driver in Pro 2 stepping up her game and uh, getting better and better with every season and every run. Definitely going to keep an eye on her, uh, her climb in the series as well as all the other Pro 2 drivers and stuff like that. So we're going to go out and uh, shred some of these new cars and see what we can get into with these cars. Once again, a big thank you to Torture for making this episode possible, hooking me up with some cars so that we can have a little fun with the new cars and give you guys a little bit of a lowdown on them, give you my impressions on them, so that way if you want to go purchase them for yourself, you kind of have a little bit of uh, insight on the car and you get a chance to see the car in action before you like make that purchase if you don't want it or maybe you do want it you see it and you're like i'm gonna buy that right now so we're gonna get my impressions on a couple of these cars so looks like we have ocean drive fd special skyline and the slab so we're just gonna go right into the slab we're gonna take the s13 out go into the slab race and uh well see how see how it works we got 458 horsepower underneath this S15. Missing a headlight, but it looks like it's got one little headlight bulb there. Definitely like a team burst style paint. I definitely love this car. I love the two-toned two wheels. So it looks like we're going up against a stock S13 with 739 horsepower. That's not stock at all. So we're gonna see how this car handles. Not sure what gear I'm gonna have to be in, so. I feel like it's fourth. Fourth looks good. Oh, this car is a. Uh, oh man. So this car is one of those nice, uh, slow, flowy drift cars. What are all? Oh, it looks like they got a little tally going up now. Up by your points now. That's a little different. So definitely got to get used to this. I think maybe we should go to fifth. Get a little extra speed. Fifth was not. Maybe fifth was the right track. Oh, they changed the track some barrels and stuff now. So, this is definitely a lower end car. So, lower power car. So, it's definitely meant for lower speed tracks because if you guys know, Japan drifting is very low speed, no handbrake, a lot of uh, weight transfer. That car looks sick though, just sliding. So, Japan drifting is a lot different than like American drifting and in UK, in UK drifting. Japan drifting is basically designed to be very slow, very flowy, and very artsy, whereas, you know, FD is just all about sheer power and muscle. So we can see if we can't uh, get a good chase. We are kind of out in power, so we're going to have to cut this line a little bit. This 
card does handle so nice, and you guys know the love of S13s for me. Oh god, one of my favorite S chassis, so super excited to have this car added to my garage here on Torque Drift. These guys are just updating the game more and more every day, throwing out new content, new cars. I know they're looking for new tracks and stuff. We're just banging all Japan style door dives right now. Super close, super tight, nice and uh, nice and fun. This car is a lot of fun to drive. I like the I like the little cheetah print on the on the B pillar. That's that's kind of sick. We did take the win though with our chase, so we were able that little door to door dive on the chase that uh definitely uh definitely got it for us i definitely want to check this out because i like how they went straight into the cinematic replay instead of going into behind you it's cool they're straight in cinematic this car's got a lot of camera in the front cinematic view very cool right there a little door dive a little door love action right there a little s13 on s13 so we did take the win on that one super excited about that so we're gonna go to another track with this car and then we're gonna switch it up and try the other car that Torque Drift hooked us up with. And, uh, well, see how that one, that's that's more of a high-powered drift car, so kind of more my uh, my cup of tea. I do like my low-powered cars. You guys know uh, 602 and uh, 437. So this is right around the same um, horsepower as my BRZ that I run, which I do love running. Um, just to go to show you don't need incredible amounts of power to have fun so we're gonna go to skyline mountain road japan drift car it's gonna happen i do love the look of that car torque drift doing a lot of good things a lot of amazing things with all these updates coming we got ma here in 705 horsepower s14 so let's uh let's see what uh this little s13 that could can do here on the mountain road this is probably where this car is most comfortable in the mountain roads and the nice twisty tracks that don't require super amount of speed. I didn't think I actually hit that. That's a little rude. So the car doesn't have as much lock as I would like it to right now. And uh, this is a bit of a bad run, so don't don't judge me on this run. We'll try and uh, we'll try and catch it up in the chase. So not my smoothest lead run by any means. That was a terrible lead run. Didn't do this car justice at all. So we're gonna see what we're gonna have to do in our chase. Looks like he messed up too. Looks like we both made mistakes. So we'll uh, have to get another good run with this car. And then of course, you know we're gonna have to take this car to Cali Banks before we uh, end this episode off. Because you know we gotta test all these cars on these tracks and of course we gotta hit up my favorite track, that of Cali Banks with these cars and see how they ride on the banks. We're gonna back there, though. Oh, that dude just totally bounced off the wall. So that's what happened to him. So this car is very nice, very flowy. Nice and smooth, but it it doesn't really have as much power as it. I feel a lot of cars are running, but it is a super fun car to have for sure. I like the slow speed drifting because you can get closer indoors. So definitely going to want to be bringing this car to... Uh, some online sessions against some of my uh, some of my regulars to my online uh, torque drift battles. You know, Fernan, nice slow smooth driver. Panda as well, nice slow smooth driver, as well as fast drivers too. They can uh, they can you know go both opposite ends of the spectrum, which is a good thing to have. Be able to do both. So before we switch cars, we're gonna go to Cali Banks with this car. And we're gonna run the beginning. And we're gonna see how it rides on the bank, and we'll see what we can do with the points total of this car on the bank. Switch this up to no not speedway. Beginning. Nope, I wanna go I wanna go back to the beginning. Can I can I torture can I oh we did select it. Okay we're good. So now let's see what we can do here before we switch up to that Supra. This car just lights the tires up though. Initiate in, apparently we weren't sideways. So it can handle the wall, it can handle the bank, nice and smooth on that wall. We'll flick there, we'll flick back. I do love the two-tone wheels. Turk Drift, can you give us the ability to paint wheels? That would be sweet, that would be epic. Give us the ability to maybe change the rim color, that'd be, uh, that'd be definitely a fun thing to be able to do. So, 
Torture's listening, so maybe they'll give us that. Maybe paint torture. Guys? Devs? Give us uh, ability to paint wheels, that'd be sweet. Just saying. <laughs> I actually don't know how hard that would be, so we're gonna throw a chase on this car. We're gonna have to chase ourselves before we switch up to that Supra. So, this S13, definitely a uh, nice, slow, smooth drift car. So if you like the smooth, slow driving, the Japanese style driving, this car is definitely for you. And if you just want to have a piece of uh, Japanese, oh my. As I say that, I was not paying attention and totally lost my uh, my angle there. So if you guys want a piece of uh, Japanese drifting history with the this the infamous purple and pink car, definitely pick yourselves up one of these cars. A lot of fun. I believe this car is 4.99 US. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. I'm it may be maybe nine, but I believe it's four. So now we're gonna switch up cars. We're gonna get an 800 horsepower Supra. And uh, well, bang some red lines in a, in a 2J. It should be a 2J. I think it's a 2J. I could be mistaken though. So we're going to go switch up cars. We're gonna probably head to the slab and then Hakone, maybe the FD special with this uh, Supra. Now I got two Supras in the fleet. We got red damn briquettes. And now we got this uh, other Supra in the mix right there. It's just so crazy because it looks like a BRZ. Zestino tires. Okay. It's a new tire brand for here. Zestinos. And we're going against Jake Roar here. And uh, well, let's see how this works. I feel like we're going to have to be in fourth gear. Drive like a girl. That's definitely kind of cool to see. It's, it's very cool to see these uh, drift cars in the game. You know, three amazing female drivers of the sport. Just to show drifting is not just for guys. Long you break grab this car. See, this car handles so much different than that S13. This car is more of a red line bang, high power, high angle very quick transition car kind of handles like red amber cats in a sense but it, it's this is definitely a, a very awesome car and uh, a little bit twitchy on that we see what we can do in the chase then we'll go to skyline with it so once again a big thank you to torque drift for hooking me up with these two cars three new cars for us torque drift keeps bringing us out uh, banger pro cars so it just goes to show that they're going to continue to bring us content in the game because uh I feel like they want to just keep uh, bringing content out regularly, giving us more and more to do so that we're not uh, getting bored of it. I don't know what line that guy's running. We're going to try and get try and, oh, little door tap, little door love, try and get up there. So these cars are definitely uh, a great add on to the game and uh, would obviously recommend picking up at least one or two of them for sure oh if you like supras here's a supra with a different front end and don't be scared to drive it because it's pink it looks amazing and it handles just as good like i said it handles a little bit like red damber cats it's a a very solid car every pro car that they have in this game handles amazingly that's why i have a bunch of pro cars here we got mad mike for dad al conadale red damber cat and then we have, you know, a couple Pro 2 cars and another Japanese style car. So we got them all here. And, you know, it just shows how diverse Torque Drift is now. It's just becoming more and more around the world. When I do my live streams, it's definitely crazy to see where all you guys are coming from when you guys are hanging out. You know, Netherlands, New Zealand, Sweden, Russia. Like, you guys are from all over in my stream. And it's, it's amazing to see that. It's great to see the community coming together from all over the world just for the love of drifting and uh torque drift has done an amazing job with this game and uh i'm not just saying that because you know my sponsors in the game and torque drift hooked me up with cars i'm saying it because i enjoy playing the game i enjoy playing it and doing live battles with you guys and stuff like that and it's not just because i'm part of it i'm saying this because it's genuinely an amazingly fun game so let's see how we do here at skyline 
and uh, see what we can pull off. Very twitchy wall tap. I mean, that's... I'll take that. I'll take that wall tap, too. Didn't tab it hard enough to lose our points. A little feather off throttle so we don't smack into the wall. That was going to be too hard. I saw that coming. I should have got off the gas. So the, the improvements that they made with the smoke and particles and all that make the game seem to run a little bit smoother. I am running pretty much max graphics and my phone's able to... My phone is able to handle it. Look at that wall drag, though. So we're going to go chase this down. Hopefully we don't get frame rate glitch. Everything seems to be running a lot smoother, so they did a very good job with their update, and, you know, they're constantly trying to make the game smoother. So, you know, we're going to take this Cali Banks. So, two totally different style cars, two totally different driving cars. This car is all is very fast, quick transition, just like that, quick snappy transition, a lot of power. And uh, then you have the S13, which is very slow, meticulous, and... Uh, more about finesse and the basically art form that is Japanese drifting and then you have this car which is just like snap angle to angle real quick and just a blast to drive so we did take the win there so we're doing pretty good we're we won every single one of our battles for today's episode so make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram all which found in the description box below as well as if you aren't following Torque Drift make sure you come out from underneath the rock and follow Torque Drift to follow their Instagram follow the game Get on the game, play it, you know, get on the hub and, uh, you know, chit chat with some people and just have a lot of fun. It's a definitely a all around world game. Like I said, like I said before, excuse me. So now we're going to take it to the banks and uh, we're going to see how it does on the bank. Once again, a big thank you to Torque Drift and the game devs for hooking me up with these cars so I could uh, show you guys these cars and the different styles that is these two cars because they're totally two different animals, two different styles of driving, two different types of cars. I'm gonna bang this thing out fourth gear. Probably should shift to the fifth, but I like how it handles in fourth. Like I said, this car is very quick flicking, quick transitions, and definitely gonna be using these cars in the live stream. So make sure you guys come out to the next live stream. Hopefully the next live stream will be either Monday or Wednesday. Got to fill off the gas and smack in the wall. Make sure you guys stay on my Twitch, or not Twitch, my Twitter and my Instagram for the next uh, live stream battle that I'll be hosting. Hopefully it'll be next week, as long as everything uh, everything goes good. Hopefully Monday or Wednesday, or both. Um, let me know it in the comment section down below. You know, what do you guys think of these new cars? Did you pick one up yourself? Are you going to pick one up? You know, do you like the Japanese style drifting or the high-powered, you know, balls to the wall American style or UK style drifting Ooh, little door love on ourselves that was a quick uh, quick e-brake grab to not smack into ourselves so definitely some amazing cars in the game now and uh, a lot of fun driving these cars Oh, I forgot I got off the gas there. So as always, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. And uh, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you guys on the next one.